In this video, uh, we will validate a binary search tree. So the problem is that uh, we are given a binary tree, but we don't know whether this is valid or not. So a binary tree has a very loose criteria that is it can have children between zero and two nodes for each of the nodes in the tree. Either it will have zero children. In that case, it will be a leaf node or one child or Two children that's it but in the binary search tree we have another criteria that given any node all the values in the left subtree all the nodes will have a value of less than this node root node similarly in the right subtree we will have many more nodes bunch of nodes but the values of all of these nodes will be more than the root and uh, even for equal case, we will return as invalid. So if there are multiple values, let's say we have five, and then again in the right side, we will have five, then it's invalid. It should be strictly less, all the nodes in the left subtree, and in the right subtree, all the nodes should be strictly more than the root tree. And this should be true for all the nodes in the tree, not just the main root. If you look at this part, this is a tree in itself. It's a subtree. Here the root is 6. In the complete overall tree, this is the root. So now let's take these two examples. Here, if you see in the left side, uh, we have this 5 is the root. So we expect that all the values here will be less than 5. We have 2, 3, 4, which are less than 5. So this point is correct. But we have to check further. We have to check that this is also a valid uh, binary search tree. Not just that uh, all the values are less, but the structure should also follow uh, the, that feature. So here 3 is the root in this subtree. So right side we have all the nodes, that is 4. 4 is more than 3. Left side we have 2 less than. Th now if you look at this uh, right example, so this is valid binary search tree. You can verify in the right side also. 6 is more than 5. 7 is more than 6. Here. This is a valid binary search tree, 6 to 8, because right of 6 is 8, which is more than 6. Left of 6 is 2, which is less than 6. So this subtree is valid. If you look in this subtree, it's 6, 6, and then right subtree of 6 is 7. So this right subtree is also valid. And if we check this value, so it's not just enough that you check the left subtree and right subtree and return that. The overall tree is valid. You have to also compare that this value 6 should be less than 5. But in this case, it's not. So we will return invalid. So what is our algorithm? Uh, if we have a function is valid and we have a root node, then first thing is that uh, roots value should be more than roots left value. Of course, if left exists and roots value should be less than roots rights value. These two conditions should be true. And then third condition should be that uh, is valid of root left. This should return true. And fourth condition is that is valid of root right should also return true. So uh, let's see another example because uh, I think we missed some case. Let's say we have five. Uh, then we have uh, let's say four and then six. And here we can have three. And here we have a uh, let's say seven and uh, then here we have six so if we check roots left it's less than five so this condition is correct roots right is seven which is again correct the left subtree which see it's valid it's uh, left is three right is six so third condition is also true Fourth condition is that this right subtree should be a valid binary search tree and it's correct. So all the four conditions are true. So shall we return that this uh, complete 
binary tree is a valid binary search tree in fact no let's see why it's not just enough to check the left and right so these two are required left subtree should be valid right subtree should be valid so we will stick to that but instead of these two we will modify it slightly so instead of just checking this one node we will check what is the maximum and minimum in the left subtree so we have to return max and min from this part so uh, is valid for root we'll call is valid for left subtree and instead of just returning true or false it will also return two other values max and min and we have to check that if the value is returned from left part then uh, max value in the left part of the root so we are talking for a particular node root max value in the left subtree should be less than roots value i am not writing value man, that means value and min value in the right subtree should be more than root because all the values in this right part should be more than 5 so if we check for minimum if the minimum itself is more than 5 then we are sure that all the other values will be more than 5 so we will change these two conditions so it's easy to miss this in the code we may just end up comparing the values but we have to check that max in root left dot val max in the root left should be less than root and min in the root right should be more than root so these are the four conditions so now if you use these four conditions you will easily catch that it will return 3 and 6 min is 3 max is 6 so we check what is the max in the left it's 6 is 6 less than 5 no so that violates the condition and we return false so let's uh, write the code for this how we will do that so let's try to write some pseudo code first so how we'll check if we have is valid a uh, root then we can have two more values you can either return that or you can have pass uh, these max and min by reference so these are passed by reference so we can update it here and this will return bool so what if root is leaf if root is leaf that is roots left and right are null left is null and roots right is null then we have to return true but before returning we update the max and min so max equal to root itself and this min will also be because there is only one node so this is the max and it's the min also and then return true so root a single node is a valid binary search tree so if this is not the case uh, then let's say root has left so we have a check if root left is valid then we will pass two values min and max let's say we pass for uh, min we pass max int max maximum value of integer and for uh, so first parameter is the max so we can have min here and m2 is let's say int max and then we check if is valid for root left and these are passed by uh, reference so these will be updated in this call here if it's not valid then return false if it's valid then left subtree is valid and we have to check whether min and max whether the max here is less than root or not so if m1 is more than or equal to root then that means it's invalid so we return false 
but if it does not return that means it was valid then we update the overall min because min overall min will come from left side so we are uh, concerned about max and min values only if the call returned true if the call returned false no need to check any further it the complete uh, binary search tree complete binary tree is invalid but if it returned true that means the min for this entire sub entire tree will be somewhere in this left subtree so the global min we will update as min of this min and whatever was m2 and max will be simply the root node among this part we have only traversed the left part so the max here is root val because it may be possible that right subtree does not exist then the max will remain this root similarly we have to add another check if uh, root right is there again call the same thing root right should be valid in that case the max will come from the max of this right subtree so in that other check we will have max equal to max of this max and m1 and then finally return true because none of these uh, recursive calls return false so ultimately we have to return true now let's uh, try to run our code and see if the test cases pass so in this case uh, we will define another recursive function and in the main function we will simply call that recursive function so we will pass two values by reference max and min so if it's a leaf node then max equal to min equal to root val and return true if root left is there if it did not return false that means we need to update our min and max so if m1 is more than equal to root val then return false if that is not the case then min equal to so we will use std min so that the it's not confused whether this is the min function or this min variable you can have another name here that would be more meaningful let's make it underscore min max Similarly for right subtree and min will not be updated because we have already checked here
okay so we did not call our main function we have to uh, keep m1 So the solution is accepted. So I think uh, we can remove this true from here also. Because if left and right are not there then these calls will not be made. So it will ultimately return true. And let's see what else we can uh, optimize. So we can also start with root as the min and max so let's say this is a leaf node then min max are set to root and these calls will not be made and it will return true so it serves our purpose and then this also is not required uh, so if left is there min will be from the left subtree and max will remain as root if right subtree is there, max will be taken from there and uh, min will remain root. If both are there, then max and min are updated accordingly. So I think this should work. Let's try again. And try to submit. Yeah, so this solution is accepted. And I hope you understand it. It's simple. If left is there, check if it's valid or not if it's valid we will check what is the minimum here similarly if right node exists check whether the right subtree is valid if it's valid we take the maximum from there and finally both are valid and uh, max from left is less than root and min from right is more than root so we return true and these max and mean values are propagated upward and it will be used in checking the value there. So thanks for watching and uh, I forgot to mention the time complexity here. So we are doing just one traversal of the tree. So the time complexity is of the order of n and uh, space it can go up to O of n if uh, the binary search tree is uh, skewed. It's like a long tree. So if we have a tree like this, this will call recursively uh, this node, it will call this one, this one. So space will also be O of n, time will also be O of n. But if the tree is completely balanced, then a space can be reduced to log n because only the depth of the tree will be of the order of log n and that many nodes can be in the recursion stack so thanks for watching and see you in the next video